Thank you, Chair. Um, I really hope that this parliamentary dimension of our partnership can set a more positive and constructive tone um, to our cooperation. Uh, so I'm glad to begin by agreeing with our honorable friend, uh, Ilri Ban, uh, when he says that the problem is not the protocol. We might have issues to discuss on the implementation, but not on the protocol itself. The problem is that the, that's not what the UK government is telling us. The UK government is telling us that, uh, well, they don't want to scrap the protocol, so that's what we've heard, but uh, they want to change the protocol, meaning that uh, uh, we should have a renegotiation of a protocol that we have just very recently negotiated with the British government. And um, that shows how our Commissioner Sefcovic is fully right. We have a problem of political will regarding the protocol itself. Um, so uh, any solution uh, which is unilateral, which doesn't use the council as a platform to find agreed solutions, uh, can only be understood as a breach of the uh, protocol and the international law. And I want to confirm the support of the European Parliament to the position that was just stated by our Commissioner Savkovic in this uh, respect. My uh, question for Commissioner Savkovic is, um, do you believe that uh, um, this situation uh, might bring uh, problems, meaning disturbance, to the implementation, not only of the, not an island protocol, of course, but to the trade and cooperation agreement itself. Because if we cannot uh, ensure the protection of the integrity of the single market in Northern Ireland, then we have a problem for sure regarding the level playing field, regarding the principles that we have set in the trade and cooperation agreement. So do you foresee that any further unilateral action by the UK government might mean a serious problem also for the full and proper implementation of the trade and cooperation agreement? Uh, 